All right. Hello, everybody. Dr. Conroy here, and this is my first video. And on my first video, I just thought I'd start things off nice and easy by showcasing one of my favorite cosplays that I've done. Um, in my bio, I have stated that my two main co hobbies are cosplaying and on a railroading. And to kickstart things with the cosplay side of things, I thought I'd do a little overview of my 10th Doctor's costume that I've put together. Well, in this case, it's more an outfit, but I'll explain on that later. So, when it comes to the 10th Doctor, I love all his costumes as a whole, but the blue suit variants are my favourite ones, and naturally they were going to be the ones that I'd start with. The suit itself, I had a custom made from a website called itaylor.com. That's their logo right there. For those who don't know, they're a website that make custom clothes for men and women for that matter. And they do all sorts from suits to coats to shirts. And in this case, I chose the suit because of all the fabrics they were offering, especially at the time. Um, this one, about lots of the closest to the 10th Doctor's blue suit. I don't know how well the camera picks up there, but it, it's definitely blue with red stripes. And it does depend on the lighting as well, really, but I think you can at least see that. And what's also neat about our tailor is the fact that they do these clothes for such reasonable prices too. Which is why I chose it, because I wanted something higher quality than the cheap cosplay suits that you could get. But I couldn't quite afford the Baron, the tea cover Magnolia ones at the time. But now that I've recently started a job, um, I may have a better chance of affording these later along the lines. The quality of the suit I find is very nice, and they got the measurements quite well as well, because um, it's got that same kind of fit and I can move easy in it. Yeah. It's very easy to move my legs, kneel down uh, like the doctor does from time to time and all these other things you may have to do. Um, I can put my hands in my pockets, no problem. And it comes down to it. I also love all the custom features that you can choose like I know he's a foe, but I chose the pocket flaps. And I, of course, chose the four buttons because it's the key part of the 10th Doctor's suit for me. I couldn't, however, um, have the belt at the back. But I have chosen the single vent, as you'll probably see there. And I've got the two back pockets if I want to put things in there. So all in all, very nice and um, suit this and if you can get your hands on an eye tailor suit, I do recommend it. Yeah, the quality is good for what it is, great value for money and it's lasted a long while too as I got this suit before the co and it's held up pretty well to daily wear as I have worn this in my daily life as well. And now onto the coat. It was funny I said earlier about not being able to afford the Magnolia at the time, so I well, admit that this is a Magnolia coat, but I actually cheated a lot on the price. I just happened to have a bit of money saved up, and I saw it on eBay, and it was quite close to her Christmas time as well, so I got an early Christmas present from myself, to myself, as you might say. So I took my chance, I got it, and I'm really glad that I did because I absolutely love this thing. It's got the nice um, blue lining with the stripes and the orange um, pockets, handy firm, keeping things like your Sonic or your phone. And we've got the pockets here. If I could change anything, I'd probably make them a bit wider because sometimes your hand can get a bit stuck. But it's at least handy firm, holding my psychic paper. 
which in the case of this is just a, a passport cover. It's not accurate, but it works. Um, sometimes I'm high, taking the DIY route. Um, although this wasn't custom made, um, I am dumbfounded as to how old this fit. For a bit of background info, this came from the factory seconds line. So for a couple of inaccuracies, you've got the seam on the sleeves here and the lapels are a little bit more rounded than they ought to be. But I can live with those. And the coats are, right, are already made to certain sizes and this one's a medium. And I generally fit a 38 size chest and this does just fit really well, it looks good open and it looks really good close to, like, that fits very nicely. And because I'm very long arm, long armed as well, um, the sleeves are a good length. And if I just refer to the back, back to a nicely done toe, um, I don't know if it's just me, but we have my favorite feature of the coat where it's got the fleece at the back. So if you need to stretch your arms, it will open and relax, it will close. And you've also got the vent at the back there, also the fleece, and it gives you the option to button it up. I don't know if it's just me though, but I always thought there were four buttons back here and this one has three, but I don't know, I might have misremembered. If any of you happen to know, um, please do share your input. And the length of the coat is also very good. If I just put the iPad down here, I'm six feet tall, um, this is hell. So it comes down, which uh, to me is definitely the right sort of um, length to find coats in this length. Uh, uh, um, it can be a bit of a nightmare, but especially when you're as tall as I am, but this one really pulls it off. And while we're also down here, this can give some idea of the uh, how it flies, how it flows, because this material is very flowy. Um, while we're on the subject um, of the material, I think it's definitely one of the key factors as to why this coat feels so authentic, because David Tennant's coat was like um, a faux suede sort of material, and According to Magnolies, this is an upholstery style material and on the show David Tennant's coat fabric apparently came from an old sofa and because as a van, because this is upholstery, it just um it just somehow feels very authentic. Um I don't know where you can see the texture there, but yeah, at least to me it's impeccable. Especially as like right now, um, this coat really plays with the heat, like like it does in the show. Like for example, if I just switch on the light, there'd probably be a slight change in it or something. And light off. And. If I move it, if I move it around, it's just easy to. And in some cases, it looks a bit shiny. So yeah, if you're able to get one of these coats, I do recommend it. It's the singular best tenant coat uh, I've ever owned. I used to have the Abbey Shop one, but I don't have it now. Um, it was all right for a time, but. This is just even better. Um, from accuracies. Um, I think they're both matching quality. The Abbey Shop one's very good. Uh, this one's very good too. 
but there were a few things which made many cosplayers raise their eyebrows, like um, the lapels of the other shot one covered the top button, but on this one it's about alright. So yeah, definitely love this coat. And if you want to, can even wear the colour Sherlock style. The Tent Doctor doesn't do this, but I sometimes like to just for, just for the fun of it. And as for the rest of the costume, well, the shirt's light blue. You can get these about anywhere, really. And the tie's just a standard one from Burton. It's not accurate, but it at least does, I think. And most definitely, as I've learned from many Temp Doctor cosplayers, Maroon Converse, not the bright red ones. Maroon, and... I don't know how well the camera will show, but mine are a little bit beat up because I wear them most times, and that's okay because the Doctor Abel runs anywhere, uh, every, uh, everywhere, anywhere, <laughs> anyway, so that's alright. The only thing I'm really missing is to, which I'm looking to get, is like a pair of fake glasses that I can use for the brainy specs, but I do at least have the most crucial. Well, the Sonic Screwdriver, this one's just the character options toy in. It's an early release too, as it's got the theme, sort of ultraviolet light. But I don't mind that too much, and it serves me well. Oh. Hmm. A bit embarrassing. There we go. Never gets old doing that. <laughs> and... If you drop it, it will still keep kicking. I dropped it a few times at least. But still works. So, that one I guess about covers that one for my first in YouTube video. Thank you for watching. And, if, and I'll just be uploading anytime I want to really. So, do feel free to stick around to my channel if you're interested. I've quite enjoyed giving you guys a rundown of my costume. Well, outfit, because the way the quality is, this really is a suit and this really is a coat, and I've worn um, it daily lots of times, and in the harshest of elements when it's been windy, when it's been cold, and held up really well. So, yeah, my temp doctor outfit, I've enjoyed running you guys through it. Thank you for watching once again, and until next time, this is Dr. Conroy signing out.